HIPEC stands for Heat Intraperitoneal Chemotherapy, and what is a highly specialized procedure for cancers that have spread throughout the abdomen. After we've removed all the cancer that we can see, we then wash chemotherapy throughout the abdomen, so it's treating all of the surfaces where the cancer used to be to try to decrease the chance of that cancer coming back. The procedure HIPEC really works well for slow-growing tumors that shed in the abdomen, and the most success we have is for appendiceal cancers. But we can also use it for some other cancers, such as colorectal cancers, some cancers that come from the lining within the peritoneum, what we call a primary peritoneal carcinoma, as well as a peritoneal mesothelioma. The purpose of the heat is the heat potentiates the effect of the chemotherapy, so it makes the chemotherapy more effective. If you only do the cytoreduction, we know that we're leaving billions of cells behind because they're shed into the peritoneal cavity. So this heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy addresses this very low volume of disease that is left behind after the surgical part of the procedure. Once the patient undergoes the procedure of cytoreduction and heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy, most patients stay in the hospital somewhere between 7 to 14 days. Even when patients go home, it still takes a process of about another 2 to 4 weeks before they really feel like they've recovered completely from the operation. We want to make sure it's someone that we think will benefit from the procedure, so we want to make sure it's somebody that we think we can remove all of the disease safely. In Hampton Roads, the only place that offers cytoreductive surgery and heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy is the Sentara Cancer Network, Sentara Careplex Hospital, and Sentara Norfolk General Hospital. So Sentara and EVMS have been working together to try to uh, develop the HIPEC program, get a better idea of what works best for patients to refine our techniques, and also to try to offer this procedure to not only to Hampton Roads, but to the surrounding region. We have patients now that are out five, six, seven years who just look terrific and their quality of life is excellent. And without this treatment, 100% of patients basically die of the disease at five years. So this is a big step forward.